work, everyone. We're looking to wrap with our two main ladies today. I can already smell our success. <laughs> what do you mean, looking to wrap? Oh, aren't you the expert now? This upcoming scene is the two musketeers' final confrontation with the Baron. There will be quite a bit of action, but no choreography beyond what we've already rehearsed. Anyway, get ready! Lights! Camera! Action! The view is beautiful tonight. It reminds me of that fateful night ten years ago. Hmm, and now that I've said it, I can even make out the faint fragrance of herbal tea in the air. Enough, villain! It's time that you pay for the death of our mother! My dear Iris, have you forgotten your manners? How can you speak like this to your own father? <sighs> I'd sooner swallow all of my teeth than call you father! What did I expect? Seems the daughters have turned out to be just as obstinate as their foolish mother! In this world, Mora and status is everything! She thought she could blackmail me using her children and force me to grant her recognition and concessions? Ah, how naive can a woman be? Mother never asked a single thing of you! All she wished was for us to live a peaceful life, just like the others! It was you who personally brewed the poison of prejudice and sent Mother to her death! Compared to that deadly poison, the two bullets that will soon pierce through your heart will be like sweet mercy! <laughs> and that's exactly why I said you're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? So let's see. What is stronger, Mora and Power, or the two muskets in your hands? Get them! Too leap! There are too many of them! It'll be okay! We'll cover each other, Iris! And Mother will be watching over us, too! You've lost. <clears throat> to think I'd lose to my own two kids! We are no children of yours, and we'll never call that place our home. <laughs> then tell me, what did you do all this for? You lost your mother, and will soon kill your father as well. What will you gain in the end, other than sentences for your crimes? We will gain our long-awaited justice. It's over. Finally, it's over. So, where will you go now, Tulip? I'm not too sure, Iris. Maybe somewhere with lots of flowers? After all, Mother always did love going where the blossoms were. What about you? I... want to go visit Mother's grave. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Huh? Tulip, look! What is it? It's Mother's favorite! The Rainbow Rose! Look! It's blooming again! Excellent! That was beyond mesmerizing! <laughs> Even I didn't expect the scene to go so well. And we got it in a single take! <laughs> Alright everyone, we've got a wrap for Tulip and Iris. Congratulations Ayaka and Chevrois! Thank you. I didn't expect our parts to wrap so quickly. 
I wish I could savor the experience for just a bit longer. Ha <laughs> Paimon totally understands. Paimon's not ready to say goodbye to the clapperboard either. Filming has really been a lot of fun. You were great too, Chevras. The way you said, long awaited justice. It gave Paimon chills! That is indeed my favorite line in the whole book. I still remember trying to act it out in my room the first few times I read it. Whoa, Paimon would have never guessed you're that type. Who doesn't like stories where the guilty are punished and justice prevails over evil? Don't forget, I'm the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Captain, I have something urgent to report. Please excuse me, everyone. I'll be back in just a moment. It's okay, don't worry about us! Oh? Was she whisked away by work already? Mm, I was just about to tell her how great she did. It seemed like some urgent official business. <sighs> Then perhaps we should thank the stars that we were able to wrap both of your parts so quickly today. Switching around the filming schedule would have been a real pain. Anyway, I actually came over to let everyone know that we're all done for today. You can go home and get some rest. And one last thing, Miss Ayaka. Your acting skills today were immaculate as always. Are you sure you won't consider taking up full-time acting? See, I just happen to know this great troupe that's still looking for a lead actress. Thank you for your kind words, Director Farina. Unfortunately, there are still many matters that I have to take care of back home at the Yashiro Commission. I cannot remain in Fontaine to pursue an acting career. Nevertheless, I will make sure to treasure this incredible opportunity in my heart. Oh, that's a shame. But I understand. Just let me know if you ever change your mind. I believe it's also about time for me to take my leave. But hopefully I'll see you on set over the next few days. Even though my part's wrapped, I'd still like to swing by and help out the crew. See you tomorrow, Traveler and Paimon. What should we do next? Maybe we'll go investigate the case some more with Shivers today. Traveler, Paimon, please come with me. Huh? W where are we going? You could say that our ship has finally chanced upon one of those small remote islands of intel. Affirmative. It wasn't anything conclusive, but it should show us a clear way forward. Have you ever heard of someone by the name of Emily? Oh, you mean that famous perfumer? She's a good friend of mine. She's lent me her aid several times in the past to resolve some difficult cases. After I discovered the rainbow rose at the scene of the murder, I sent it to her. After all, she's probably the foremost expert on flowers and scents in all of Fontaine. And then? There was nothing remarkable about the flower or the trace amounts of soil left on it. But according to Emily, the rainbow rose left by the killer was derived from a very rare cultivar. Huh. Paimon didn't know that there were different varieties of rainbow rose. 
Paimon just thought they grew everywhere in the wild. Flowers that are deliberately cultivated will always show some different features from those that bloom in the wild. We already knew that the rose left at the scene belonged to a special cultivar, but with Emily's expertise, we were able to pinpoint the place where it was first picked from. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So whoever first planted that rainbow rose was probably the killer! Precisely. And after we checked what we learned against some sales records from the past, we discovered that there's only one person in all of Fontaine who could grow and sell this specific cultivar. Uh, really? And who is it? <sighs> it's the novelist. But didn't you say he had an alibi? To be clear, I haven't changed my mind about him. I still don't think he was the one who pulled the trigger. However, that doesn't mean the true culprit never visited him at his home or never purchased a rainbow rose from his garden. Whatever the case, we will have to confirm a number of things with him. So you mean the next place we need to go is... Yes, we're going to pay him a visit at his home. That should be his house. There are so many Gardamex stationed around the place. <laughs> 